Hello, I'm Loredana and today I'll show you the first phase of our D-type transpiler, which transforms typed solidity into classical solidity code. Here we have visually created a geopoint type, which has two subtypes, longitude and latitude. These types have already been added to our collection of custom types, in addition to the types that solidity already supports. We can now go to the next phase, and write our contract using these types. Notice that we have no imports and have not defined the geopoint, latitude or longitude structs. But still, we are writing code that uses these types. Now, if this code is compiled, it will throw an error. But now we will transpile the code by clicking on this button and we see the geopoint, latitude and longitude definitions have been added. If compiled, this code will not throw an error. Now, Let's go back and modify our geopoint type. And we will add another field here. Called name of type string. If we transpile again, we see that this field has been added. This is the first step in enabling developers to use a global decentralized collection of already deployed types and libraries of functions for those types. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for part 2.